Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Madeline for anyone new out there. Now this vlog is an interesting one just because I've actually already edited this vlog and when I did I realised two things. So the first thing was I didn't even introduce this video and I think that's because on the day I recorded the vlog I also did two other videos so I felt like I was talking to you guys and yeah I completely forgot to like introduce this vlog. So here I am introducing the vlog. And then the second thing I noticed was the whole vlog ended up being eight minutes. And I was like, what kind of vlog is that? So here I am trying my best to like bulk it out a little bit more. Just so that it's worthy to uh, be watched. So what I decided to do is I thought I'll show you some of the things that I bought. So the actual vlog was recorded on the Friday, which was the day where we broke up off school. Um, so it's a week and a half into the holidays now. So it's Wednesday. And in that time, we've already had the Zara sale. So if you watch my Zara kids sale, you will know that I like to bulk buy Basim's clothes twice a year. So I tend to buy his main clothing in the sales and I like to bulk buy. I think I've already said that. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. Anyways, let's get into the actual, you know, the stuff that I actually bought for him. Uh, I also bought something else. I'm really excited to show you. So I'm going to show you that later on. But yeah, let's have a look. So I bought Gaisim. It ended up being 30 products that I ordered. 29 of those were for Gaisim. And yeah, I'm just so excited and I'm so happy with what I got. I think Zara do like the best clothing in general for like... Um... Oh, let me just... Sorry about that. My laptop just started playing one of my videos. Um, anyways, like I said, Zara do the, like, the nicest clothes, like in general, for men, for women. But when it comes to kids, they just nail it on the head. That They do like the nicest pieces of clothing. So I got, got some loads of clothes. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you some of them. I won't show you all of them. Otherwise, it's going to be a, a really long vlog. So I bought him a ton of trousers. I actually bought some things on the um, Black Friday sale. And then I realised like, oh, he still needs a few more bottoms. So I managed to pick up quite a few bottoms for him. So these include denim, joggers. They include shorts. So I've got some like denim shorts for the summer. So I don't just buy things for the winter, but I also consider like other seasons as well. So I don't have to panic when I, you know, when I find that actually he needs some shorts because it's a scorching day. And yeah, I've got loads of stuff. So these are pretty much i think there might be some more in here some more yeah there is some more but basically these are all the trousers that i got for him so these are all for next year so he's three at the moment so these are four to five for next year so these are all the trousers and like i said they include denim um shorts joggers everything that he's gonna need so it's just it's just one less worry for me um you know realizing that oh maybe he doesn't have something for an occasion so yeah like i said that he's got things for the summer he's got like leggings and um, he's got smart things in there in case we have like something nice going on i also picked up a coat for him love this coat he's never really had a black coat so he's got this black coat but i really liked it because it's a puffy one um and i like the like the gray blue contrast that it has inside like it's fleeced inside really nice and soft with a big hood uh, the current coat that it has is a nightmare it's just so hard to zip up so i've checked this one out and it looks like it's going to be a nice coat to quickly zip up and also it's quite oversized so i'm hoping this will also allow him to like wear layers that have hoodies and under there and things like that on like on a winter day I like this little uh, detail. I can record his name and make sure none of his clothing gets lost. So yeah, a few more jackets. I bought him another jacket. He's got something similar to this already and it goes so well with so many outfits. So I thought, oh, I'll pick it up again. It's a little bit different. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. So I picked up this jacket. I picked up a gilet, you know, for transitioning between like winter to spring and then summer to autumn i thought this gile and i absolutely love brown at the moment like anything brown i'm like oh it's got my name written all over it and yeah so a gile and then i've got loads of like sweaters and hoodies um so that's that's a top 
he's got this which is like lilac and he's got like the matching trousers so like loungewear um yeah like i said zara just do the cutest pieces for like children some stripes there for like layering i think that look really cool some more sweatshirts i bought this like linen top if we go away and we're nice and hot or if we go to the beach and he's got like some yellow well he's got some linen trousers um I'm hoping we'll eventually get to go to Dubai one day. And so I'm like, yeah, these will look really cool. If we go like, to the desert or if we go to the beach, he's got like some bright yellow shorts. So yeah, when I buy all these things, I consider everything another sweatshirt. And yeah, that's basically all of Gatsum's clothes for next year. He's pretty much sorted. And I'm just so relieved that I don't have to worry about anything. I mean, like I said, pyjamas, things like that, I'll just pick up from Primark. Um, but it just helps bulk buying um, because it saves me loads of money. It saves me time. I don't have to worry about him not having any clothes for anything. And a lot of the times, a lot of the clothes that I buy, I also use for like aid. So when aid comes around, I'll just go in and I'll pick something out and put something together. Um, so I just feel really organized and yeah so that's one tip oh another tip is just before the sales actually launch what i do is i go online and i add everything that i like to the basket and then everything is saved in the basket and then when the sales launch i just literally just check out and then that way i don't have to worry about anything being sold out and um, getting sold out or anything like that because it does happen a lot things sell out really fast so it just helps to have everything already in the basket. And all these things came up to about £250. And I remember the basket originally was like 600 So if I was to buy everything separately, it would have cost me 600 But I saved so much just by doing this little trick. And I love doing it. I've done it since he was so young. And yeah, so that's all of Gasson's clothes. Like I said, I ordered 30 products. Uh, I bought one thing for myself, which is this mesh top. I really love wearing like mesh sleeves underneath t-shirts just to lay them up. I really like that look. So I bought this brown because all the mesh tops that I have are black. And I bought this um, mesh top. It's like patterned. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should have got a small. Medium looks a little bit big. But it's okay. I mean, I do like the sleeves to be tight, but we'll see. I don't know if they'll have small in stock. And I also I can't be bothered to go back and return it. The queues are so long. Um, so I'm just going to try it out and see what it looks like. Hopefully it'll be fine and I can just keep it. So that's my Zara haul uh, that I look forward to. So the next time I'll do this is probably in the summer sale. And I'll buy like loads of t-shirts. Because there weren't many t-shirts with it being like the winter season. So in the summer sales, I'll buy like loads of t-shirts and just stock up on the t-shirts for the following year. So the next thing I want to show you is this, um, yeah, a few things from this place called Because of Alice. Um, I discovered her through my YouTube. So basically it came up on my feed and I watched one of her uh, videos and basically she was showcasing all her new items and it looked amazing. So I bought three pieces from her collection. Um, in fact, let me see if I can find a leaflet. She's got a leaflet somewhere. Let's see if I get it. There it is. So that's Alice, I believe. And I basically bought the bottoms that she's got on. They're leather high-waisted trousers and they're flared. I don't own anything that are flared, so I'm really excited to rock some flared bottoms. Everything that I buy, everything that I wear in terms of like bottoms, they're all skinny fits. So, yeah, I'm excited to, like, transition slowly away from skinny fits now. So, I, like I said, I bought the black leather trousers. Now, the designer is actually 5'3", and everything seems to fit her well in terms of height. So, I'm thinking they'll fit me perfectly, and I won't have to adjust the trousers at all, because I'm 5'4". Uh, I will need to wear heels, because she does wear heels. But I bought these leather trousers, high-waisted. I'll link a picture here of what they look like. A clear picture but I can see myself like wearing this with like the mesh top underneath I think that looks like a cute piece it's raining outside guys so if you can hear any sounds that's the rain oh, I love the sound of rain mashallah it's so beautiful so 
So yeah, leather trousers. And then I bought a suit. Now I actually have a suit. However, it's just a little bit big now because I've managed to lose some baby weight. And yeah, it doesn't fit. So I worry if I ever go into an interview or anything like that. Or if I need to wear a suit and I don't have one. I hate finding myself in a last minute situation where I can't find anything. So I like to buy things and have them there just in case. So I bought a brown suit and it's so beautiful. I will link a picture here. And basically I bought them in two sizes because I didn't know which one would fit. Yeah. And once again, it's the beautiful brown colour. I love this brown. I think I'm overdoing it with brown and I need to stop buying brown clothing because that's all I'm going to be wearing all the time, brown. Um, but I bought this blazer. Um, and I like the fact that it's a little bit long. So it gives me a bit of coverage but it also comes with this i love this feature with this huge tie wrap and basically i mean it doesn't really match this top but you wrap this belt around but yeah it looks like that and i think it's such a beautiful blazer um and then i bought some high-waisted trousers um i'm really excited to wear this suit i don't know when i can wear it but i'm hoping an occasion will come up some high-waisted, very similar to the leather trousers, but they're not leather, they're brown trousers. And the material feels so lovely. It's got a bit of a stretch to them. They sold out in medium, which is a size 10. So I got the small, and I'm hoping they fit. If not, it'll give me like that push just to lose a few more pounds. Um, so once again, the high trousers, um, high-waisted trousers, flared. I'm excited about wearing some flares. And yeah, I can see myself wearing this to an interview or even a wedding. Um, I can wear, once again, this mesh top underneath it. Uh, the colours, I feel, will complement the colours. The brown in the, um, in the blazer. So yeah, that's my final haul. Um, but on that note, I am going to talk about my New Year resolution. Just because... With YouTube, I've noticed that I spend so much. Like, I wasn't aware of it until, like, I've been, like, recording myself and then watching myself. And I'm like, damn, I buy so many things. So one of my New Year resolutions um, is to cut back on spending. And, yeah, just spend on Qasim and save and spend if it's anything to do with charity. Um, but I'm going to try and be really good and just make good use of what I have already. Um, so that's one of my New Year's resolution. The second one is just to create some more memories with Qasim. I love looking back on all the memories at the end of the year. It just makes me feel like a good mom, and it makes me feel like I've done well. Um, so I'm going to continue making as many good memories with Qasim as I can. That's another New Year's resolution. And also, which is kind of pending, Basically, my last year's uh, resolution was to donate to food banks. And I managed to do it in January, February, and then COVID hit. And then I don't know what happened. It just, I stopped and I feel really bad about it. I feel like it's such a good New Year's resolution. And I'm going to try and continue that. I'm going to try and do it 10 times this year so that I feel like I've met last year's New Year's resolution. Honestly, I don't think I've ever met any year uh, resolution target that I've ever set. I've never don't think so so i really want to be able to at least do that one i think that's a good one um so yeah you guys i'm gonna basically clean up this mess and then edit this into the vlog and hopefully it'll be up for sunday so yeah what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let you guys now enjoy the rest of the vlog i hope you've enjoyed it uh, oh well i hope you enjoy it i hope you've enjoyed this part that i've added in but yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of it so i'll catch you all soon Bye. Hi guys, so I'm back home. Um, I've got changed because I'm about to do a TK Maxx haul. So I think the TK Maxx haul should be up already by now. If not, it'll be up after this vlog. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna record this video now. And yeah, I'll catch you guys soon, bye. Hi guys, so I have finished recording. I have literally spent the whole morning recording. Um, so I'm now on my way to pick up up from preschool. 
and then I've got his bike and his helmet in the back so I'm going to take him bike riding for a little bit um, Basim actually woke up at like 3 in the morning I was awake for like 2 hours I sent him round to the Sabri's room I was like um, so yeah, I'm like we're both shattered. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna pick him up from preschool, take him bike riding, let him, you know, burn some energy because that child has loads of energy. And then I'm gonna treat him to some macadies. And then we're gonna go home and just chill. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys soon. morning I picked this up from Tesco and basically uh, the reason why is because I needed the container I couldn't find any small containers like this in Tesco but I remember I bought this with this brand Goo um, so I thought oh I'll buy some more so it cost me I think about two pounds something with my Tesco club card so it says pop it in the microwave for like 30 seconds it's sticky toffee pudding and then afterwards I'm just gonna clean you know the container and then have them to, yeah, organize like my whole platter. So in here, I'm, I'll put things like olives and like some chutney. So yeah, there's a little hat. I've left it in the microwave for 30 seconds, like it said. But basically, I have been craving sticky toffee pudding ever since I've been watching I'm a Celebrity get me out of here. And you know, more Fire. craving it. I don't know if it's too hot. Mmm. It's not like your traditional mm. sticky chocolate pudding, but it's nice. Hasn't do you want to try some? Because can you like it? Can it's too hot? You don't like it? It's too hot. You've not tasted any though. No, can Hi guys. So, it's about... It's about... Let me check. Ugh. Okay, so it's half seven. Class has finally gone down. And we figured we're going to have like a movie night. A really chilled um, evening and I recently watched Ursa's vlogs one of her vlogs and she made like a cheese board and like of course I went to TK Maxx recently and I bought like this beautiful uh, board tray this so I want to attempt to make a cheese board I went to Tesco this morning and I bought a whole bunch of things so I'm gonna actually show you what I got right guys so I bought um, a cheese board with a range of cheese some grapes some mini breadsticks, some salt and vinegar crisps, a bag of just mixed fruits and nuts. I also bought some chutney. I bought a red onion chutney, some hummus, some figs, um, a selection of uh, Spanish tapas, um, some, um, what's this called? French bread. Um, some olives mixed olives and then of course I've got some crackers I feel like I've missed something out I don't know what I've missed and then some pots so um, I managed to eat the sticky toffee pudding but it was so sickly that we had to actually just scrape out the second one and just put it to one side so I've got some jars I've never done this before so I'm just gonna have good fun with it I'm gonna get my sister to help me out and we're just gonna yeah, try and make this look nice and pretty. And it'll be like our centerpiece on our table for this evening. So let's get started.
guys this is what it looks like um, I'm really happy for the first time I think it looks really yummy really delicious well put together even if I say so myself so yeah I had to like remove one of the pots of olives and there was one cheese I couldn't fit because I had just too many but there's still like loads of food left over and I don't think we're gonna finish all this today either so I'm just gonna, I think if, whatever we don't eat, I'm just gonna wrap some cling film over it, pop it in the fridge, and we'll have it tomorrow. Um, I've also got some games, just in case we can't find a movie to watch. I've got some board games on standby. I really wanna play this um, without waking a them up. But yeah, that's pretty much my night. Right, on that note, I'm gonna wrap it up. I am exhausted, and I'm ready just to enjoy the rest of my evening. Um, if you haven't yet hit that like button, please do and consider on subscribing. I would really appreciate the support. Um, so yeah, I will see you all soon. Bye.